Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute read maker. Um, it's been a while since I popped on with one of these videos. Um, listen, if you're watching this on YouTube, can you go ahead and click subscribe um, and maybe even notify? This way you always know when I'm dropping new content and other people can more easily find my channel and make better reads and be better, happier oboe players and everyone wins. Um, today, I found in my hand a read that looked fine, looked exactly right, but it was a little more open than I liked and it was a little more flat in pitch than I liked. And I feel like I'm getting, I get this question from people all the time. How do I deal with a read that is just a little too flat besides just clipping and moving it into uh, a too uh, hard kind of scenario? And so uh, I ran this experiment for you and fixed my read and hopefully you will find this helpful and interesting. Is it strange that my plan for today is basically a read repair shop on one of my own reads? Um, the reason that I'm doing this is because I have this read here that although it looks like a read and is finished like a read in place, it's sitting quite flat and people ask me this all the time. How do I take my read that is too flat and bring it up to pitch without just making it too short and hard? And so I thought I would experiment and figure out if I had anything helpful to say about this. This read, it's made with a 10 to 10 and a half diameter cane, which is not my norm. So it's a little bit more open than a read that I would normally have at this stage. And I've already finished it several times. This is a day three read. And the measurements are exactly what I would expect them to be. I have it at... Uh, wound just below 47, of course. The bottom of the heart's at 60. The top of the heart is even a hair below 65. And the overall length is just over 70. That all feels really normal to me. And it crows a little low, which might be the first thing I fixed. But the big issue is that the whole thing just sits a little bit low and feels a little flabby. I'm gonna go ahead and clip a little because now that I've diagnosed that B crow, that is the first thing I'll try. But in general, and I've talked about this before, um, clipping a reed is going to adjust the crow, which is going to uh, alter the balance of the reed and hopefully make this feel a little bit better balanced. It was a little underbalanced before, but it's not necessarily going to affect the actual pitch of the reed. So there's my C crow now. I clipped so it came up. But it's definitely still sitting below pitch as I look at my tuner when I play. Um, and it, as I said, it's more open than I would like and feels a little bit less stable. So one thing I did want to check is the thickness of the heart, because I frequently find that uh, having a slightly thin heart is a, a risk factor for being flat overall. So when I do this, checking right in the middle of the heart, I see that I'm at 45 or so. Are these microns that I'm measuring? It's 45 hundredths of a millimeter anyway. And on the other side, about the same, a little bit under, 44. Um, and for me, that actually is pretty thin. So my first instinct is that I want to make everything that is not heart be a little bit thinner to compensate. So that ideally we rebalance this reed um, down to the thinner heart, but the heart will be what holds my pitch together. That's my hope, so let's just try. I'm gonna go north of the heart, taking care of the sides and corners of the tip. I'm going to go south of the heart trying to leave my spine more or less intact, although, as you know, I can be sloppy with my spines. But I'm taking out everything below the heart, and my whole goal is to make the heart think it's thicker so that it 
hold my general pitch up a little bit higher. And uh, I also expect that as I scrape both at the tip and further back, um, I'm gonna drop the crow again, which is going to enable me to clip again. Okay, let's see what that just did. It definitely brought the crow back down to a B, so I'll clip. Flat C, so I've still got a little bit of room to clip, but I'm going to try playing it again. And although I'm closer, I'm still sitting underneath the pitch, and it still feels more open and springy than I like. Um, so I'm going to do two things. I'm going to mash it a little bit more. And I'm also going to go behind the heart one more time and just allow myself to take the littlest bit more of the center here, mostly because I do want this reed to collapse just the littlest bit more than it is doing. And I don't want to touch that heart because it's thin. Now, I'm still not scraping directly up the middle of the reed. That's too scary but I will scrape in the window and allow my knife to just broaden itself toward the middle a little bit. Okay. I like that actually. It's a slightly purer, mm, the reed feels more closed and the pitch is a sharp B instead of a flat B. So I have room to clip a tiny bit more. That is a solid sea crow. And a reed which feels like it's sitting right in the middle of the pitch center. So what did I do here? Um, basically, I established for myself that although the reed's me basic measurements were in alignment with my, my mental picture of a reed, the thickness of the heart was my biggest problem. So all of the scraping that I did was designed to make the heart think it was thicker, to rebalance the reed to, um, to the actual thickness of that heart. And then I, with a continual process of scraping to drop the crow, clipping to raise the crow, um, I eventually got this reed to be where I wanted it. Overall length is now sixty-nine and a half and three quarters, maybe. If I measure the other side. Yeah, it's not my most even clip. It's almost 70 on this side. Um, but, I, you know, I don't care about that. The reed works. <laughs> so that makes me feel perfectly happy. Um, so could you say that I simply clipped to bring the pitch up? No. If I had clipped the reed that I had, that um, bee crowing reed with the thin heart and everything else a little heavy around it, I would have clipped up into a thicker section of the tip. I would have gotten a lot more resistance in the response. Um, I would not have had a reed that is actually balanced. So for me, this is always a balancing process. Scrape to lower the crow, clip to bring the crow back up, and always be looking for the result that you actually want, which for me was the opening. I was bothered by how open it felt and how big in my mouth. And upon squishing it a little bit, it settled down and came up to pitch for me. I hope that was at all helpful. This has been a five minute read maker episode. You can watch these short videos right here on YouTube. You can subscribe if you wish. I hope you will. 
Uh, and if you need to reach me, you can find me at JanetIngle.com, which is also where you could order Reeds or Cane or email me uh, with questions that you have about the reed making process. What should my next short video address for you? How can I help you the most? Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.